good students today we are going to discuss about the parts of speech what is parts of speech parts of speech <coughs> how your word play a role in a sentences we have eight parts of speech um what should we know there are the eight parts of speech in english language noun adjective verb adverb pronoun preposition conjunction interjection right so uh, i repeat noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection so the first one what is noun naming word what is an adjective qualify the noun what is verb action verb what is adverb it it gives meaning to the verb what is pronoun instead of a noun what is preposition linking word what is conjunction joining words or sentences what is interjection expressing emotions right uh, let's see one by one first one is what is noun noun is the name of a place person or thing right noun are often used with an article a and the or the right for example that uh, we have uh, uh, noun has so many types proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun like the second one is uh, pronoun what is pronoun we have seven pronouns in english grammar he she it they you i we it's totally we have so pronoun is used instead of a noun a pronoun is usually substituted for a specific noun which is called an antecedent right next one for example pronoun example he she they yours himself herself me we ourselves who whom my that etc next one is verb what is verb verb an action verb uh, in english verb has three forms present past past participle right row to ten go went to gone come came come buy bought bought catch caught caught and uh, drink drank drank draw to drawn etc so the verb in a sentence expresses action or being so there is a main verb and sometimes one or more helping verbs we have uh, helping verbs like um, will or shall may might can could shall should must need so these are all we call auxiliary verbs and it is also called helping verbs am is or was were have or has had been be right next adjective what is an adjective adjective qualify the noun it describe a noun it usually answers which one what kind or how many elephant is the biggest animal right giraffe is the tallest animal taj mahal is the most beautiful building rose is the most beautiful flower it is the cheapest metal he is uh, better than any other student right so in uh, adjective uh, we know the degrees of comparison the three degrees past to comparative superlative we know the comparative degree ends with er and superlative ends with est right for your adjective example charming cruel fantastic gentle huge perfect pretty rough short ugly short long these are all qualify the noun right okay next one adverb what is an adverb act as verb it describes or modifies the verb or an adjective or another adverb or but never a noun particularly it, it describes or modifies the verb it usually answer the questions when where how why and under what conditions what degree usually adverbs ends with ly adverbs um for example fully almost secretly normally occasionally usually frequently badly greatly cheerfully eagerly wishfully right next one preposition what is preposition it's a linking word 
it's link uh, it's paced before a word or before a noun or a pronoun and to form a sentence uh, so for example uh, ab about about above across along among like into plus uh, with since towards against beside despite behind in with at by under beneath right second one is uh, sorry seventh one is conjunction conjunction is uh, called joining words phrases or joining the sentences and for example and but or neither nor either or right the last one is interjection interjection the word used to express emotions it's often ends with an exclamatory mark for example oh sorry very well ah hmm causes and key whatever uh, hooray bravo hmm wow like okay so these are the parts of speech now adjective verb adverb pronoun preposition conjunction interjection so please um, recall that thank you for